Hi everyone, thank you for joining. So today I have a collective haul that I want to share with you guys. And it's quite a stuff, so I'm going to get started right now. I'm going to start off um, with the flea market. I hadn't been in the flea market in a long time to shop there. And we were there just yesterday. And I bought a few things over there. Let me see, what were they? What was this? So first half, I bought the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. Looks like this. Now keep in mind that when I buy them at the flea market, I get them for a really, really cheap price. And they're sealed. I usually get stuff that are sealed and it's amazing deals. Like this BB Cream was like $3. So I got it in shade medium. And I used it yesterday and I was outside a long time, about 3 or 4 hours. And it held up pretty nicely. Now that I have oily skin, it, I mean, it was pretty good, so I only used it one time, or yesterday, so I still need to try it out, and, and I'll tell you guys what I think about it, but so far, so good. I also got this Heart Candy Fox in a Box blush, and it's in the color Smooth Talker. I've heard this is a dupe for Benefit Sugar Bomb, I believe. I don't own Benefit Sugar Bomb. But I've seen swatches on online and I really think it is a dupe so I really like it and so far I really love the finish that it gives me. I have it on right now. So I got this one. This one's about $3 as well. Brand new. The, and then I also got this CoverGirl Olay Simply Ages Concealer. And this is the concealer in 220. I already own the corrector, which is the yellow one, and it is amazing. I really absolutely love it. But I wanted something that's more not yellow, you know, more like a flesh tone. Something that matched my skin tone basically. So I ended up getting this one. And it doesn't say it's a medium or anything, so I kind of went through the packaging. But I got the color 220. And it looks a little bit darker, but it works really nicely. I really have been liking this also. I also got this flower lip gloss and the color Iris I Could Fly and it's a hot pink or a, yeah it's a hot pink color and it's so pigmented look at that I love it I love it and I the only one that I had before prior to this one was this one and this is the baby's breath and I do have a review on Flower Cosmetics. If you guys are interested to go see it, I'll link the video down below. But so far, I like the formulation. I like the fact that they're not sticky. And I like the fact that they're pigmented. And then the last thing that I got at the flea market was uh, another Color Whispers. Now, I didn't have a good experience with the first one I had bought. That cost me around $8 at Target, which I still have. This was the one that I bought at Target and it cost me like $8. I, I really don't like it. I love the color, but I it just didn't work for me. But funny, you know, this one, and I, the reason why I got it, because I wasn't planning to get any more of the whispers. The girl there that was at the flea market, she was like, oh, this is like the number one seller. They're so amazing. Uh -huh. and I'm like, I have one and I already tried and it didn't work. She's like, no, try it. And I got the color 75, which is Rose of Attraction. That's the one I have on right now. It is nice. It's really, really nice. I don't even know, like, it, it's not even comparable to this. The texture of this one was watery and, I don't know, very, very different. This is really nice. And I ended up getting it just because she left it for a dollar. She's like, just take it for a dollar. And I was like, okay, I'll get it. And it's just a really, really nice balm right there. And I have it on without anything other. I mean, this is the only thing that I'm wearing right now. And I love it. So, I don't know. I might consider getting more of these. I, I really don't know. I mean, and then I also stopped at uh, Kmart. We were there because my mother-in-law and I were going. I forgot what we were going for. Oh, we're going to buy a, a juice maker uh, because I don't know if you guys heard that a lot of girls are doing the juice thingy and stuff. Yeah, I'll talk about it in a different video, 
but we bought a juice maker but when we were there we also went to well i went to the makeup section and i picked up a few things and one of the things i picked up was a brow gel and this is from elf and i got this one just because i don't know if, if you guys seen my written videos you guys know that i'm in love with the Anast anastasia or anastasia brow gel the clear brow gel i have a little deluxe sample of it i really really like it but the retail price of it is $22 and I really don't know if I'm gonna I don't I don't know if I'm gonna spend that much money on a brow gel but I've heard so much great things about this one prior to the Anastasia one I wasn't using any brow gel whatsoever so that's why I was like you know what let me try drugstores brow gels maybe there's some good ones out there and I've heard the great lash from Maybelline is really good but hey this was just a dollar and I've heard great things about it so I ended up picking it up and I've been using it <clears throat> and I really really like it I used it yesterday and I was outside for about four or five hours and they, it held them up really nicely so I've been loving this I should actually do like maybe an updated brow tutorial or how I do my eyebrows updated one I don't know let me, let me know if you guys would be interested to see it because I already have one but there's some new techniques that I've been doing to it Plus the brow gel, so I don't know, I might be doing a an updated video. I picked up four lipsticks from Milani, and they're the new ones. And for some reason, my Walgreens, my CVS don't have them yet. I really don't know what's the deal. Um, the nearest Walmart doesn't have them. Target just got them in. But anyways, I, I got them at Tar at Kmart. And they're buy one, get one 50% off. Plus, we had a, I had a coupon or a gift card. And I picked up the color Rose Hip, Fruit Punch, Nude Cream, and Hot Pink Rage. Let me tell you, girl, these lipsticks are great. Like, they're really, really nice, really creamy. If you guys have tried the Maybelline, the Vivids, they're very, very similar. The texture is very, very nice. I know they have creams, pearls, and sheer, no, matte, and matte, which I really don't even know which ones I got, but they're really nice, I really have been loving these, they're so, so pigmented, let me just show you, so pigmented, they actually also remind me to the flower lipsticks, and I love the flower lipsticks amazing lipsticks these are really nice plus i love the packaging the only downfall that i don't like or i dislike is the scent it smells like like fruits and flowers mixed together but not a great combination i don't know i just i dislike the scent but that doesn't mean if i dislike the scent it doesn't mean that you're gonna dislike it so i'm just saying that i just like the scent and then we also went to Target. It was my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law. And my sister-in-law was actually looking for a mascara. And she picked up the Mega Plush from Volume Express. And in my hands, I had the CoverGirl Clone Crusher. But then she got this one and she asked me if I had tried it. And I said no. And that kind of made me want to try it. So I ended up getting this and leaving the Clone Crusher behind. Because I really didn't want to buy two mascaras at a time. Because... I was just going to open them both at the same time and I didn't want to do that. I ended up opening this one already and I've been wearing it for two, two or three days now and I really have been loving it. It's really, really nicely. I don't know, I think Maybelline mascaras just rock. Not all of them, but the ones that I've recently tried have been really, really so nice. I'm, I'm still trying it out. I've heard that the older it gets, the better it is, so we'll just have to see. One of the neighbors around my neighborhood she had a garage sale and she had a bunch of Lancome creams like in a package and let me just show you what they came in she had them inside this thing it's super cute it has a lot of space like that <clears throat> and then it was open like this and it had all the creams and then it was just like wrapped around she said there were like gifts that she had gotten but she never used them and she was just getting rid of them. I asked her, are they good creams? Like, are they not expired, etc. Et so she's like, no, they're, they're still good. I got them for Christmas. 
and they've never been used. I was like, can I check them out? She just told me, she's like, you can't open it. If you're going to open it, you have to take it. And I'm like, well, I need to know, right? She's like, no, I guarantee you that they're brand new. And, and then she had them for $25. And for all the creams that it came with, I was just like, well, why is it so cheap? Because it is cheap. I mean, each line, I mean, it's Lancome and each cream from Lancome is ridiculous pricely. It's like, what, over $50, over at least $30. And then she's like, no, they're legit. They're good. And because she works there. And I was like, uh, okay. So anyways, these are the creams that it comes with. It comes with Lancome Bien Fight. I am, I, I don't even know how to. It's a multi-vital glow with SPF 15. This is one of them. Came with this. It also came with the Re-Energy Micro Lift Rare for daytime. These are all full sizes, guys. Re-Energy Micro Lift Night Rare it's for nighttime. It also came with an Absolute Premium BX. And a high resolution refill 3x and it also came with a eye makeup remover it also had two it also had two perfume lotions like full sizes in there which I gave them to my mother-in-law uh, it came with two more of these which I gave away actually one of them I sold it but I sold it for a very fair price. I, I think I sold it for like five bucks. I really don't remember. And it also came with this, which is a Re Energy Micro Lift. This is for your under eyes. And then this one, which is a high resolution. It's a serum anti right anti wrinkle serum. So I haven't really gone online and checked what exactly are the primary benefits on these creams but hey all I know is that they're freaking expensive and for $25 I got all of these creams and yeah they're pretty good and they smell really nicely too so I got that at a garage sale and the last thing I also ordered from Sephora again and that's because I had some money saved up and I ordered a few things I ordered and the reason why I let me tell you why I went on Sephora again and it's because I've been wanting this palette so badly like ever since it was Christmas whenever this palette came out I was like I I want it like I don't need to get it but I wanted it but I was debating whether to get this one or the Lorac chocolate palettes and then when I wanted to get this one they were all sold out on store in the store so I only had to get it online but then I was like I'm not gonna pay retail because it's too expensive I don't know I just didn't want to pay the retail plus I didn't have the money and then I recently saw they put this on sale and I think it's still on sale so if it is on sale I'll put the link down below if you guys are still interested and in trying to get your hands on it because I think it's a limit no it is a limited edition thing and I'm talking about the Too Faced the indulgence palette or sweet indulgence palette I think and it looks like this this is just packaging's just so adorable I love the packaging and when you open it you get your what is it 16 eyeshadows one two three one two three four five okay 16 eyeshadows and then you pick this up and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it but just in case you guys haven't seen it I'm showing it for you it also comes with two blushes two bronzers a highlighter some cards so you can um, get some ideas for looks and a full eyeshadow uh, primer this retailed I think this was $52 before and now it's on $39 I think so I ended up picking it up and I love it I've been wearing it ever since I got it I have this look I've been doing all my eyeshadows with this palette <clears throat> I really like it and then while I was on the sale section on Sephora.com I also saw that they had the Buxom and Isabella at $10 I think and I also put it in the card I was like you know what I'll just get it also I love how they smell this is a true copper color it's really pretty 
really really nice um you go look nice with like some bronzy eyeshadow bronzy blush or bronzer and this on is gonna look so totally hot so I can't wait to use this one and I also got the Tarte Maracuja lips glosses I think lip glosses yeah Maracuja Divine Shine lip gloss that looked like this this was a holiday set and they all each one of these I believe they retail for $21 I think they're $21 and this whole set was 40 or 30 and then it went down to $21 so it's like you're buying one but you're getting all of these more so I ended up getting it as well and the last thing I added to my card I promise this is the last thing was these tarts to go I've been looking for these babies forever i'm not even kidding at my nearest ulta because i you know that they had an they had them on ulta I believe they have them now in sephora but you ulta used to have them but my ulta never like it, it never has makeup like now i don't even go to ulta anymore because they never have stock like anything in stock it's like either sold out or well they say it's sold out but then i've gone when they received the merchandise and they didn't even receive it i don't know but anyways, I ended up getting these because I saw them on the Sephora website on the sale section. But they had them for $15. And it's the bronzer for Park Avenue Princess. They're having a lot of sale going on for Tarte on Sephora.com. Just in case if you guys love Tarte, I'll put Sephora's link down below so you guys can go check it out. And the blush and doll face. Really, really pretty blush color. And these were the ones I got. And the sample that I received from the Sephora's, I received some perfume samples which I gave away because I already have a lot of perfume samples. And then I also received this Matchbox Camera 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 Ready CC Cream, the little sample which I am wearing today. And so far, baby, I really have been liking it. I have it over my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation Powder, Powder Foundation. And I really have been liking it. it. It's the first time I I wear it, so we'll see how it goes on for the day. But so far, so good. But I'll let you guys know what I think. So that was it, you guys. Sorry, this video was a little bit long, but this was a, my a collective haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what goodies you guys bought through this month or today or yesterday or whatever. Just tell me what stuff you bought. I'd love to hear. And yeah, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter for Ailey. For Ailey, what's wrong with me? I'm like, not even. I don't even know how to talk. Man. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter for daily updates. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. God bless. Bye.